Hey guys, Cephalon Cat here. So, at the time of this video, I've played Pal World for around 178 hours. So, I think this is a good time to perhaps make a video talking about uh, my review so far. Of course, this is the early access version, specifically 0141. So, Things are going to be very different once big updates come out and the full version comes out. But since I've played all of the content, I've basically 100%ed the game. I think this video might be worth watching for my opinions on the full package we have right now. So, so first off, let me say that this game is very addicting. The whole catching pals, finding new pals, finding new locations. It's all just very addicting. And the Pocket Pair team has really done a great job of just allowing you to feel rewarded when you come across things in your path, new pals, new collectibles, new dungeons and all of that. But let's just talk about everything that as we come across it in the game so the character creator is uh, pretty solid right now it's nothing uh, extremely in-depth but it does allow you to pick both your body and your face i would have liked even more customization perhaps different beards different uh, maybe makeup freckles all of that because otherwise it's a pretty solid you know first attempt I really enjoyed making my character and I would have liked uh, even more options on how I make them, you know? So I'm looking forward to seeing more updates on that front. So when you start the game, as we see, we see the beautiful graphics of the game and also the pals that have a very cartoony style. And surprisingly, both work. The cartoony style of the pals with the realistic graphics really is a nice combination and I really like it. Of course, some textures haven't loaded, but we're gonna say that it's a wow of early access and we're going to forgive it for now. So you start off right away... Oh. So you start off right away with a very survival-like uh, gameplay loop. You have to find shelter, you have to find um, wood, a rock, etc. All the things normal for survival games. So the game in general is uh, at, at first especially is very reminiscent of survival games more than it is a PAL tamer uh, game because uh, it's you will die if you don't find shelter, if you don't uh, find clothing if you don't uh, build a shack you know things like that and it's actually very nice very addicting and it ties very well with pal taming and all of that so then we go to the pals which are uh, right away you have uh, a hundred over a hundred pals to catch and the loop of finding all the pals and catching them and if you want to be a completionist like me, catch 10 of each one, it's very, very, very addicting. So this is something that I really enjoyed while I was playing. And um, I'm looking forward to even more because once this is one of the downsides, I'm going to talk about it now, is that once you've done everything the game has to offer, once you fought um all the bosses in the towers you see there in the distance once you've caught all the pals once you've 100 percented and caught all of them 10 times once you've explored all the map the map is very big but it's still you know doable and once you've done all of that once you've built your perfect base bred your perfect pal with all the perfect passives and stuff there's nothing else to do so it uh, i wish there uh, uh they added something more that kept me coming back to the game something that um i would use as an excuse to keep coming back because now that i haven't been playing as much as when i first started i actually really miss it i miss uh, you know the beginning of the game i'm thinking of restarting 
um, just you know to get the original experience of first starting out because that's my favorite part is when you first start out and you find your perfect base you find your pals and all of that I just I really like that and I wish the game just gave me more things to do you know so that is why I think even if the game was uh, extremely enjoyable for a lot of people we're gonna see um, uh, the biggest part of the player base uh, not playing anymore until big patches are out because once you do everything there's not there's nothing else to do so that is the downside but other than that it's just a really enjoyable experience up until you get to that point until you get to the end game but don't let that uh, don't let what I'm saying now tell you oh it's not worth getting I've put 178 hours into this game, okay? I've made multiple characters. I've gone into modding. I've modded the game to make it even more to my liking. And it is uh, it is worth it. It is worth those over 100 hours you're going to put into the game until you complete it. It is very enjoyable. And I do highly recommend it. And uh, yeah... So the downsides uh, as well with the game on the PC version at least is that uh, the performance, um, I think it uh, it depends if you're lucky or not. Others have had no issues. Personally, I found the performance to be perfect up until I get to a heavier save file. Then things start freezing. I have to restart the game, like we're talking freezing for uh, 15 seconds and even struggling for me to go to the menu so I can uh, restart the game. And it is a shame that uh, the game has this uh, memory leak, I believe it is a memory leak issue that is causing those uh, performance issues. And I wish they would um, fix that because getting interrupted once you have a, you know, a nice groove going is not very fun. Restarting the game even for a couple of minutes is not very fun, especially uh, because once I did uh, was unfortunately one of the victims of losing my entire save file. Uh, thankfully, I had a backup, but it was very scary. Uh, nothing similar has happened since, but you know. The game is in early access and uh, I hope it just becomes better and better performance wise. So that is basically it. Those are the main things. Um, what else can we talk about? The combat, it's very basic. The animations are nothing special, but um, if you once you get the guns, once you get the bows and stuff, it's much more fun. Uh, melee combat is uh, not very good. I don't like it at all. But, um, you know, it depends on uh, what you like. And I think it can only improve in the future. So I'm just hoping that perhaps we get more um, animations for melee weapons. Now you see this rock there hasn't loaded its textures properly. Disgusting. But yeah, I'm just hoping we see even more when it comes to the combat. Since combat is a really big part of this game, there are a ton of boss fights out in the world that you can find. And it's very, very satisfying just going through the entire map and um, fighting all the bosses, even catching all the bosses because you can catch them. So that's very satisfying. And also another satisfying thing is finding... Um, getting all the technology points, unlocking everything you need here. And it's just a very nice system. And I really like it, I really enjoy it. And I think uh, anybody who is even a little bit into survival games would be very into that aspect as well. And yeah, the whole combination of combat and uh, the, the survival aspect, it just... A very nice mix of everything and uh, I'm just I really enjoyed my time with the game yeah. and yeah I think it's a game that it's worth the over a hundred hours you're going to sink into at least for now I think that once we get to have the big updates for the game it's gonna be even better we're gonna have more things to do and I, I just I cannot wait to have an excuse to come back to the game 
So yeah, guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed this review. I hope it made sense. I know it was a bit uh, all over the place. I did not have a script or anything. So I hope it was something that helped you, perhaps if you were on the fence about the game. If uh, or even if you've been playing the game and you're also at a place like me where you've run out of things to do and you just wanted uh, to hear somebody else and what they think of uh, the game so far. So yeah, hope you enjoyed everybody. I'll see you later. Let me know what you think of Pal World if you've 100%ed uh, the game like me and everything else like that. And also, if uh, you enjoyed the video, I have a lot of more videos on my channel, a lot of gameplay, lots of games, streams that I do on Twitch. So feel free to check those out and uh, I'll see you there. All right. Bye bye, everybody.